We all try to keep our data safe from hackers, but sometimes the hackers discover a weakness that even the tech companies don't know about. Recently, a zero-day attack turned out to be much bigger than anyone realized. I'm Keetron Evans, and this is Hacker Headlines. When a hacker exploits a hidden weakness, it's known as a zero-day attack. That means the creator of that software has had zero days to fix a problem. They patch it as fast as they can, but hackers have already done some damage. On September 11, 2023, Google issued a patch for a weakness in its Chrome browser. The weak spot? WebP, a graphics file format that replaces common file formats like JPEG and PNG. Hackers could exploit WebP to create a buffer overflow. They could overwrite existing memory and insert dangerous code or simply crash a computer. Some attackers managed to exploit the vulnerability, but Google quickly patched Chrome. The problem was over, right? Around the same time, Apple patched a similar vulnerability. This weakness seemed to affect Apple OS. The Google and Apple teams didn't realize how similar their problems were, and the vulnerabilities were assigned separate names and patches. But the problem went much deeper than Chrome or iOS. The real weak spot was a package called libwebp, which encodes and decodes information in the webp form. Libwebp is very efficient and very popular. It's found in Google, Apple, and Linux software. Applications using it have been downloaded billions of times. Are you using a web browser? Firefox, Chrome, and even Tor have been affected. How about a collaboration platform? It's in Slack, Teams, Basecamp, GitHub, Telegram, and more. Even password managers. Home users are affected too. Do you play games on Discord, write a blog on WordPress, call your friends with Skype, LibWebP is there as well. And your vulnerability scans might not catch it. The problem was initially marked as a Chrome issue, so it might not be identified elsewhere. Major vulnerabilities like LibWebP can be worrying, but there are a few things you can do to help keep yourself safe. First, update and patch your system regularly. Use your settings to automatically download the latest patches. And don't forget about things like messaging programs, blogs, and art programs. Everything exchanges data. Second, stay up to date on tech news. Watch the headlines and learn about the latest vulnerabilities. Being cautious and prepared will save you a lot of headaches in the long run. Stay safe, stay aware, and I'll see you next time on Hacker Headlines.